What's up, YouTube? It's Anchorman28 here. Got another Wi Fi battle here. And yeah. So, yeah, this round is messed up. So, the French sprites and the back sprites aren't going to look right. See, that's Ash. Not Ethan, but whatever. Um, yeah, he leads off with Infernape and switches out. Predicting like a surf or whatever, but I switch out predicting that to my reuniclus. So as Pro Pepper says reuniclus, he uses taunt, predicts my uh trick. I was like crap. I I was I thought I was gonna cripple this thing. That I think that did matter. It meant his super fang missed, so I go for the psychic and that does like a tone because shit ton because um this is not a bul this is not a bulky reuniclus, this isn't like a special attacker. Uh, Reuniclus, so yeah, its special attack is Beast, but this just proves how Beast Blissy is because, like, this psychic did nothing. So, yeah, this battle was really long and stally, all because of that Blissy. So, yeah, I had to speed this up a little faster. So, um, he goes back into a crow bag while the focus blast misses, and then he taunts me again, predicting me to go for the, uh, for the, uh, the trick, but I decided to just kill it off with the psychic. So um, down goes Crobat. Um, he sends in uh, Infernape, and I'm fearing the U-turn, so I go into my Gliscor. So he goes for U-turn. That probably would have killed me since I have no defensive investments, I believe. So he switches out into Starmie, and I'm deathly scared of this thing because I thought it was scarfed. But in reality, after this, like after I get this damage turns out to be life orbed so I thought Swampert would be able to take it if it was scarfed but it wasn't so it did m more than half and I was like crap so I really want to sell it my step rock stealth rocks here so I decided to stay in hoping that uh, hydro pump would miss but it doesn't so you know whatever so um yeah he gets recoil and I should go out to Blissey you knowing he can't do shit so he splits out. He switches out into his own Blissey while I go for the seismic toss, just like just to hit anything that comes in. I didn't want to go for toxic because I know Blissey has natural cure. So yeah, I just you I just went for a uh, seismic toss. So I switch out, go into glass score, knowing that it can't do anything to me. Blissey with stealth Fox, I kind of caught me off guard, but you know whatever. I guess that works. So yeah, he switches out, knowing he can't do anything. He goes to Ferrothorn. I hate this thing. I don't really like using it because everyone uses it. So, uh, yeah, I just switch out my guy's going I can't do anything. I go into my Hydreigon. Yeah, this guy Hydreigon was pretty much just like, just like a human, sh like a meat shield for that. Uh, whatever the Ferrothorns do, they they freaking protect and they freaking use us. Uh, what was it? Oh my god. I'm s Leech Seed. I'm such an idiot. So, yeah. He withdraws Ferrothorn knowing that I have the Fire Blast. So, I go for Fire Blast. And, um, yeah, that does a lot to start me. Because this Hydreigon is Life Orb. And, yeah. I This Pokemon is just Beast. You know, I hope it doesn't go into Uber because I like using it. So, I switch out to Blissey knowing he can't do anything to me. He's going to go for Hydro Pump. And yeah, that doesn't really do much because Blissey is like a special wall, a beast special wall. And this is like max defense. So um, he switches out Starmie, no, he can't do anything. He goes into Fernape, I go for Seismic Touch just to hit anything that comes in, right? So yeah, that does a good chunk. And yeah, I'm going to switch out because I know uh, Blissey's defense is shit. So I go into Glassor, my physical wall. And he's gonna go for close combat, and that does absolutely nothing. So I'm like sitting good right now. I'm like whatever. So I'm gonna go for uh, wait. I get poison heal, and I think I'm gonna go for earthquake just to hit anything, anything on a switch besides his Dragonite, which I saw earlier in the team preview. So um, yeah, it does a kind of a good chunk to first one considering his defense, and it goes for at least seed. I predict that I go for protect just to get some um extra uh, HP back. And he goes for Leech Seed and I know it doesn't really matter because I'm going to switch out this turn so I'm going to get pretty much some of that HP back by uh, Poison Heal so I'm going to switch out this turn and I'm going to go to uh, Reuniclus and I'm going to try knowing that he's going to set up spikes and everything 
it didn't really matter because like you know I, yeah it didn't really matter um i go for trick he protects and i'm like crap so i thought he switched so i go for a uh, focus blast just to hit anything or just to get some damage off and it fair form takes that like a beast it's a beast pokemon i give you that um so i go for trick now knowing that he might go for an attacking move because he might want to death out of this so um yeah he goes for power whip and that does a decent chunk i told you like if this was a defensive investment that would have done nothing but you know whatever so i'll go for recover just to be at like full hp and he's gonna try he's gonna go for uh, spikes just to get some i think that's his third layer of spikes or second layer i don't know but it did the spikes in south rocks kind of mattered but not really so he goes into dragonite and I know I can't take any hit from that, so I switch out, switch out to Glass Score, knowing that's probably a physical attacker. And it turns out I was right. It goes to Dragon Dance, and I, at this moment, I'm like, crap, because I know that thing has Miracle. No, not Miracle. Song. I forgot, forgot Dragon Tail or something like that. Miracle, whatever it's called. But um, yeah, he's gonna go for Dragon Claw. That does kind of a lot actually I go for Ice Fang and because it hits its new uh, Dream World ability it takes that like a boss and I'm like crap so I'm gonna go for Protect here just to get some more HP because I know I probably can't live the next one so he goes for Roost knowing that I have um, Ice Fang so he can take that next Ice attack move like a beast so I'm like oh no this this is not gonna work because if I keep on going like this I'm probably gonna lose the last sword so I go for Toxic so I take out that ability, period. So, yeah, it takes toxic damage, so it's no longer at full HP. I'm good for protect, protect for some like, uh, for some stalling, some toxic stalling. So, um, he gets back at full HP, but not long because of uh, poison. And I get poison heal, which is awesome. So, yeah, he goes for Dragon Claw. I know I can live that. I, if a, if it was a crit, I probably it would probably would have been a good game right there. So, um I go for Ice Fang, it's critical hit. That that probably did matter, but you know, Glass Core could have been could have taken um, Dragon Claw all day. So yeah, I go for Protect knowing that he probably has the Ice Beam or Hydro Pump. So I go for Protect just to see where he's gonna go to. And I switch out into um Blissey. Okay, you know Blissey can take all this all day. Um yeah, that did a shit ton. The, um, Spikes and uh, Stealth Rocks did a shit ton. So, yeah. Um, I get left losers, and I know this this Hydro Pump is not going to kill me. So, I, I just go for Softball just to get all my HP back. And I know he's probably mad because he was so close, but, you know, so far away. So, I get leftovers, and... Um, I'm pretty much back to where I was when I switched in, kind of. So he goes in for Infernape. I go for a Toxic just to, you know, hit whatever comes in. So I thought he'd go into Blissey so I can Toxic Skull that thing. So, um, so yeah. I, I'm fearing the close combat. So I go back into Gliscor knowing that it can take any move it wants. So he goes for close combat. I know I can take that. I can, I can take that all day. And um, I'm gonna go for protect. I, I believe. Yeah, I know he's gonna switch out because if he stays in, there's nothing he can do. So he switches out. I go for protect. Um, just in case he went for a move, but he doesn't. So yeah, he sends in his blissey. Yeah, uh, Glide Score doesn't really have the best attack. This is making me like that made me wish that I brought my uh, my Swords Dance uh, Glide Score. But whatever. So he 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 uses aromatherapy and um heals his uh infernape and that really didn't matter because you know infernape's like pretty fail and it doesn't matter. So uh this is probably like the worst narration ever. But uh so yeah he gets leftovers and I get my poison heal and um uh, right here is where I toxic stall the crap out of this blissy. So yeah, this is this is probably the reason why this battle was so long because of this. So um, yeah, I go for protect and all that. Um, I go for earthquake just to get some damage. I already know he has the stuff, the soft boiled, since he has a warmer therapy. So um, 
Yeah. This part is probably the most boring part. Oh my god, my computer just like just like went crazy just now. So I hope that didn't ruin the narration. So uh I go for protect, he goes for soft world. Mm, whatever. And yeah. I'm not even using my headset anymore. That's weird. It, it feels weird, so I'm using uh, my webcam. But I hope it doesn't ruin the quality because that, that headset for the PS3 is really... It, it, it made my voice sound kind of weird, so um, I'm going to try out this just to see how it goes. So, um, yeah, I go into Gyarados. I know that he can't really do any... He can't do anything to this Gyarados. can't touch it. So I go for um, Dragon Dance. Just to make sure that I can outspeed um, his star me that he has left and everything else. So uh, he goes for seismic toss. And I know I can take that all day. So not really. Probably for another two turns. But Blissey won't be able to live to that. So um, Toxic takes a shit ton worth HP off of Blissey. I go for Waterfall just to take it out. And this is the Moxie Gyarados. It's a beast. It's a pretty. It's a beast thing. Like, it's it's beast on um. Scrafty, but on Gyarados, it 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 wrecks. Like it, this wrecks teams. Like it, it's so good. So I I get my second Moxie boost, and that at this point it's good game. It's it's pretty much over. He sends in Infernape. I believe that's his last Pokemon, and he goes for the, like a Flare Blitz, probably hoping for like a critical hit or something, but that's not gonna do anything. So, oh, the phone is ringing. Whatever. So I go for Waterfall, and that will be the game. So, uh, yeah, good game. I forgot who this guy was, but why is my school calling? So, um, that's good game. Uh, this is from the TPX chat for Xerxes or something. Just a random, whatever. So, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.